Hi, this is Colette. I love using the Kaiser Craft templates. There are lots of template designs available in the 12x12 12 12 size. And I was really thrilled to find out that they have just launched four more of their quad designs. That's the 12x12 12 12 inch templates that are divided into four smaller designs that are just great for your cards and your paper crafting projects. In today's video, I want to show you how I like to use these particular templates. The first technique I want to show you involves a Big Shot machine. Did you know you can actually emboss with these templates? The sandwich that you need to create for effective embossing is to basically have your base plate with tab 1 showing. You then need your unmarked acrylic plate. Mine is a bit marked because I haven't got my unmarked ones here at home with me today. I've left them in my shop. Then you need to take your, your template. I've used the quad from the floral template. So that goes down next on top of my acrylic plate. Next I'm going to put down my cardstock. And you want to make sure that if you want the textured size showing, that textured size goes down on top of the actual template. Next I need to put my silicon mat and then finally I'm going to put my Sizzix textured plate on top of that. And then I'm just going to roll that through. Just pop this away for now. So you will see that we have a beautifully embossed design. Can you see that okay on the, on the video? It's a little bit dark out there today. We've got a really rainy, cloudy day. Um, so just to accentuate that a little bit more, what you can actually do is you can grab hold of your um, ink pads. This is the um, vintage ink pad from Kaiser Craft and what I'm actually going to do now is to just very very gently um, swipe this across my design. And you can see what that's actually doing is picking up that embossed image beautifully. Now you could spend a bit more time making that beautiful and you could use a couple of different colours on your ink pads but now you can really see how beautiful that looks. That's going to be a great mat for a card um, or it could be a great feature on your scrapbooking pages. Okay now the next design that I want to show you um, involves the beautiful mists and rubber stamps. So what we need to do is to carry on now and I'm going to take a stamp and I'm actually using this stamp here from the uh, textured scallop lace. That's what this one is called. It's a beautiful, beautiful border stamp that stamps up really nicely and I'm actually going to stamp this up on some water um, colour paper. So just to contain the mess, grab yourself a box. So I've got a box here and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop my stamp into that box and I'm going to use three of the adorable and gorgeous mists. Um, I'm going to use lime green, turquoise and pink and I'm just going to randomly spritz my stamp. Now you don't want to saturate it too much and I'm going to put a hint of pink, you know, why not? Let's just have a little splash of pink. And then once I've actually spritzed that up, I'm going to move that away and um, I'm then going to take my watercolour paper and I'm going to just stamp that down. And I'm going to maybe count to about five um, and leave that on so I give this um, ink a bit of a chance to grab on that paper. Now this look is not going to be clean and crisp, it's going to be distressed and very vintage. It's very, very pretty. Okay, so that's, that's there. I'm going to lift this up now and you can see that I've got this beautiful um, little design here. 
so you can actually use that to stamp quite effectively and of course because they're all water based you can actually clean them off with a, a wet wipe your stamp that is um, the other thing I love about this mist and I'm not sure whether you can pick this up on the video can you see them shimmering they have a really lovely shimmer effect to them very very pretty so that's my technique number two now my third technique that I want to show you um, involves using the templates and the mists and to do this we need to get um, some cardstock now I'm just going to use a piece of the smooth white Kaiser card here and I'll use that same floral template as I have that one to hand and we just basically pop this over and we have a bit of spritzing fun so you just go directly onto your um, your um, piece and you spritz them down we have a bit of pink this is going to be kind of retro, I love these colours, especially that green okay and then once you've done that you can lift that up and you can see you've got a really kind of pretty design here. Again that's going to make an awesome design for a card base and if you can see the shimmers just gorgeous. So very straightforward. If you were impatient like I usually am and want to crack on with the project just get your um, heat gun out and just heat that up. If it starts to warp and bubble from the one side you just go ahead and heat it from the back as well and that will dry it within a couple of minutes and then you can crack on with your project. So that's your straightforward um, misting and um, just to clean those templates up just grab yourself a little wet wipe and just wipe over those templates very easy for, for clean up okay. now the next technique I want to show you um, involves texture paste this is where we can get a bit messy and have a little bit of fun So I have here a piece of 12 by 12 flat or smooth cardstock from Kaisercraft and I've got a great picture of a, a mermaid in a beautiful turquoise and green kind of tail so I want to create a, uh, a page to actually put that on. I'm going to use this um, uh, quarter from the Geo quarter template because it kind of looks a bit like a mermaid tail and I think that would be pretty cool. So I'm going to start off with by maybe putting some of this up um, in this corner here. Now I don't want to get that line so I'm just going to mask that that off and um, I'm going to get a bit of my texture paste and I'm going to pop that um, onto my template. So I want to have a bit of this kind of randomly on the page. Now you can use an old credit card. I'm using a palette knife which I think is works really well actually because you can scoop it up out of the uh, jar really nicely so that's probably enough in that corner now while that's still there what I want to do is I want to um, spritz that because I want some of the scallops to come out that aren't um, textured as well so a bit of spritzing and set some of the screen as well. Okay, so happy with that. I'm going to move my masks away for now. Okay, and I'll move that up so you can see how you've got that um, happening. Okay, and you can see, oh, look at those shimmers. Love them, love them. Okay, we might put a little bit just here so you don't have to go right to the edges of the pages. So a bit of texture paste again. A little bit happening there. Okay, and um, again, I'm just going to shimmer. Now, I don't mind this one going so far off. This might be the edge that would give me trouble. I don't want a sharp edge showing. And lots of green. Okay. Pulling that off. See, now I've got this sharp edge here, so I'm going to have to kind of disguise that a little bit, but that's okay. And then you can continue with your page. And then what I like to do is I like to um, just grab my stencil and then just 
ad hoc and do some of the, the spritzy designs over the top of it. Now you can see that edge has now more or less disappeared. We might have a little bit down here. Okay, so you know that's cool. That's going to be the basis for my page, and then. Um, a little effect that, that's quite fun to do as well is the drips. So if you actually mega, mega drip up on top and then just pour that down, you'll get some more drippy effects happening up there on the top. Okay. So, you know, once this is dried up, this is going to be a, a cool page to um, pop a little mermaid onto. Okay, so that's just something to give you an idea um, of how you can use texture paste, the templates and the Kaiser mists. So there's a few ideas. My name's Colette. I hope you actually get to use some of these great ideas and um, I look forward to seeing you next time with another video. Bye for now.